Jensen fly tying session. Today we're going to talk about feathers and how you can use them in different ways on a fly. Um, feathers is a unique pro product, or not unique in that way, but you can use them for loads of different things on a fly. You can use them for body, you can use them for a um, for haggle around the head on a on a bait fish, you can use them for dry flies, you can use them for almost every kind of fly you can imagine. You can use them for cameras, you can use them for shrimp flies, which we're gonna do in this video. Um, feathers comes in different sizes, different uh, from different animals in different colors, uh, different uh, styles is not the right word, but in the, the uh, they have different ways of working. Um, this is a cock saddle from A. Jensen, and this is um, a saddle with where the fibers on the feathers are quite soft. Um, you have some feather types that are more stiff in it, and they're great for salmon flies and and such flies as that. But what on this fly I want a, um, a feather that's uh, softer in the material, so it kind of moves a bit more in the water. Or yeah, um, when you choose the right feather from a set like this. It's important to find out how long you want the materials to be. For example, if we take the biggest feather I can find in this one, it's one of the end feathers here, and I just pull out all the little strings here, or feather strings, or what you would call these, and put these beside the fly like this. You can see they are too big, the proportions aren't right to making a nice little lively looking fly. So we're gonna look for a smaller feather. It could be something like this one, for example. Look at how different this is when I spread the fibers and put them down beside the fly. This fits the fly much better. So we're gonna work with this one for this fly. Some flies is perfect with the big ones, some of them you use the small ones. It's something you work and find out when you tie flies and what works for you and for the different kind of flies. So, when you got a feather like this, then we have to, to find out how shall these uh, fibers work for me on, on the fly. When you have a shrimp fly, for example, like this one, you want to build the body like a cone, so it's the smallest part of the fly is down here at the hook end, or the hook eye, and the biggest part of the fly is up at the head, up here. You can kind of see it how I've already already built this, it's, it's quite, it has quite some volume up here, and it gets small down here. And that's how we're gonna use these feathers. If you see again, if I spread them out like this, you can see they get bigger from big to small that way down. So we want to tie it in this way so we get this. Sorry, we want to tie them so the smallest feathers are in over the hook eye and the biggest are down at the head of the fly. Good, so we're gonna use. To spread here and see how much I'm gonna use and where from where I'm gonna start it. I'm gonna start it from up here. You can see those little ones down here, and those are the ones we're gonna end up with. And we're gonna use this much. I'm gonna just gonna cut. It's better to cut a big piece so you have some material to work with then to cut it too small, then you have to start over with the feather. Now we have the, the feather we're gonna use right here. Now we can, we can change the feather by pulling off the button part here. All the strings down here, the, the feather strings down here. What that does is you're gonna have a lighter um, Lather hackle around the fly, 
you can use the whole part of the whole uh, feather here but I want a light haggle so I'm gonna pull off all these little ones down here just pull them off like this you can keep these in a, um, a little bag or something and you can use them for mouthpiece and all sorts of things it's not a bad idea to to find out where you can save some money see now we got one side of the feather with feather materials or feather strings on them and we have a part here that's completely naked see now you can see the the fly fibers goes this way so if I want to tie these down and get them to point the right direction I have to turn it around like this tie it in like this and turn it down then it should go like this if I some fly patterns you want the, the feathers to go like this or stand a bit more up then you can do it like that instead then they will be a bit more pointy but if I do it like this it will go a bit it would have a tendency to easier get this way like like you want in it with a with the shrimp fly I'm just gonna pull out I have a bit here to tie down, so I secure the feather. And now we're actually ready to turn it. But the thing is, when you have to use a haggle, you often have to put it on, let it be for a while, put on the body. In, for example, this body I'm gonna do with um, some SLF fibers. I have just have to build this quickly and then I can get on with the other part of it. I'm just gonna do that quite quick here so you, we can get back to what this video actually is about and the, the feather. When you get the hang of using feathers for haggles, uh, fly tying gets so much more fun because you suddenly have so much more techniques you can work on and and such things. And it's so great to work with. I like these haggle things. It makes it look like an original old style fly when they get a haggle on it. So now we got the body. Then we take. Uh, you can do this with your fingers, but I think it's so much easier to do it with a haggle clamp. I'm gonna take the clamp, take this end of these fibers, like this. And then I'm just gonna start turning here. Do it gently, but with a nice, even, um, what do you call it? It with, so it's it comes in. Um, I just have to find the right word. Sorry. Do it so the fibers, the, the turns are equally apart from each other. And you can see here now they're standing. Often when I do it, I have problems getting them to go forward. It has to be a bit wet. Before I really can, you really can see it. But um, this is how you you, you can use a f a feather for a haggle on a shrimp fly. So this is how I do it. You can do it in different ways. You can do it in different styles. You can do it on different flies with different colors. Haggles has almost no limitations for it. So just try it out buy some different color feathers and try and see what works for you and um, good luck tying.